Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Ennio from Ambience and uh, in this video we are going to see what's going on with the uh, Art Toolkit Suite and uh, with this channel and the other stuff we make here at Ambience VR. So let's begin. First of all, we have a, um, we have a new um, plugin online on the Unity Asset Store and it's uh, uh, and it's called air toolkit bundle and basically it's a bundle uh, that contains uh, at explore at video clip and at uh, materials and uh, you can get all the uh, plugins for a discounted price and also if you own uh, at explore you can get the the, the wall bundle for uh, with another ninety dollars uh, discount, um, so yeah, I think it's a very good way to get all the tools you need uh, to to create something uh, awesome in Unity. Of course, you can find the link in the description of this of this video. So let's jump into AT Explore. AT Explorer. So let AT Explorer. We can go here in uh, uh, our Discord server. And so, if you are familiar with our Discord server, you know that we constantly release uh, fixes and uh, uh, updates based on uh, your requests. Uh, so we released uh, three uh, updates for Explorer. Uh, update uh, the first one is update 1.4.4 and we added uh, um, steam vr support for uh, users with uh, uh, unity 2020 lts and uh, also another um, markerless mode in augmented reality uh, after that we released uh, 1.4.5 uh, with uh, native support with uh, for Oculus Quest 2 and so we can now load the right controllers for, for if you own uh, if you are building a, an application for Oculus Quest 2 and also we added Pico Neo support um, for, for uh, Explorer and so you can uh, now build applications uh, directly for uh, uh, Pico Neo 2 and uh, yeah mm, super happy with uh, with uh, about this last feature because the the Pico platform is super cool and I also think it's more uh, suitable for uh, B2B work than uh, uh, other standalone platforms uh, then we have another uh, release, the um, uh, 1.4.6, that adds, that uh, contains a bit of bug fixes, and uh, it's going online uh, uh, tomorrow on the asset store. Now let's go to uh, 80 materials. For 80 materials, we have uh, a new uh, version of uh, 80 materials. Uh, two weeks ago, we released the AT Materials Lite that contains an, uh, an end picked uh, selection uh, of uh, PPR materials uh, available as usual on demand inside the uh, Unity editor. Uh, so we, we decided to uh, release this version because we love to improve uh, uh, your workflow and uh, we thought that would be nice to publish a uh, um, much easier to, to, to maintain version because this version does not contain any uh, connection to the, the real server of the full version and um, yeah for, for a fraction of the price and so if you want to get your hands on uh, AT Materials Lite, you can find the link in the description and it only costs $10, so it's uh, kind of a steal. And uh, yeah, so we can go to the next uh, asset and it's AT Video Clip. Uh, for AT Video Clip, we are at version 1.2 
and uh, we are going to release this version on the Unity Asset Store um, along with the uh, Explore update. And in this version, we added a lot of uh, quality of life <laughs> improvements uh, to, to the UI and uh, we also added the first version of the native uh, 360 and 360 stereo um, support um, we don't like how the current recording backend and all uh, the, the, the the codec of the video export but uh, yeah we we decided to add this feature in uh, in this version so you can test it uh, you can tell us what you want uh, with uh, with this feature and we can uh, uh, add more stuff in the next one and um, we have so many ideas uh, about this plugin we also shared what's going on uh, in for the future of uh, AT video clip uh, so yeah um, also for this uh, link in the description and now it's time for AT sync uh, with AT sync we are going to uh, release AT sync 2.0 <laughs> for uh, Revit and uh, we have a, a huge update Mm, almost ready to be published on both, uh, both Unity and, uh, and Revit. The update for the Revit plugin is uh, version 2 and it's full of super awesome features. It's the result of uh, two main uh, collaborations uh, we, we are doing since uh, November 2020 and we had the chance to stress test the plugin like never before. I'll try to make a video here to, to, to share the, the work we are doing with those two companies uh, because I think it's, uh, it's awesome. Uh, but let's see uh, what's new uh, with this release of ET Sync. We optimized the, the export, so we can achieve export and import times three times faster uh, with an average of 30% uh, less uh, weight in uh, megabytes to export and import uh, while also adding more stuff <laughs> in, the, in the export. So uh, we uh, added the linked files support Mm, so you can finally export your gigantic project and uh, with, uh, with version 2 we are also adding uh, Revit 2022 support and we are also adding uh, room, room export support so you can uh, export room data and create uh, awesome, awesome stuff like uh, this one you can see in the in the picture. And finally, we mm, we have a, a better hierarchy in uh, in the exported uh, um, in the exported uh, um, uh, file in, uh, in Unity with all game objects uh, organized by documents, levels, and uh, categories. So yeah, super, super, super cool. But we, uh, uh, we also added a new UI. Uh, so it's easier to understand what's going on during uh, the, the export uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Revit. And we also, um, yeah, that's it, <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, I think we we'll remain uh, with the same lifetime uh, uh, license. And um, this version will be um, completely uh, offline. But we also have uh, super uh, awesome news for the next uh, release. So stay tuned here in the uh, on uh, on our channel so yeah mm, ah what's next what's next um we have two uh, we have two uh, big um, updates for for the channel and uh, for our uh, plugins mm, 
first of all we have two uh, five new videos uh, scheduled so uh, if you are not subscribed uh, subscribe now and uh, stay tuned for for the next uh, videos and um, for the next two months we are challenging ourselves to release an update per week so let's see we if we are capable of this <laughs> and uh yeah mm, i think that's it for today so uh, see you next time uh, here or uh, on discord bye bye